Hey guys, Ryan Collector with Gun University. We've already covered the basic parts of a scope and now we're doing a deeper look into each one of those parts and how they work. In this video, we're gonna talk about the magnification adjustment. Now, if your scope is adjustable magnification, it's gonna adjust by a magnification ring here on the scope. And you're gonna be able to turn the scope all the way down and make the image really small or turn the scope all the way up to make the image really big. Now, the range of magnification and what values it goes to is gonna differ scope by scope. But I wanna leave you with this. Don't think that higher magnification is always best. In fact, when I'm teaching students and they're having trouble with hitting the target, I will often reach over and turn their magnification down for them and make them shoot again. And usually they do a little bit better. Why is that? Well, although the target image gets bigger, that's not necessarily better because the magnification ring not only magnifies the size of the target, I like to think that it also magnifies your errors. You ever notice how shaky a scope and rifle can get when it's in high magnification? That doesn't lead to good shooting. Sometimes turning down the magnification will make everything more stable and it will help you focus on what you should be focusing on, which is the reticle. That's right, high magnification has another problem besides making the target shaky it makes you look at that nice, big, pretty target image and you might forget where the reticle is and start peering over at that target and make a bad shot. So next time you're at the range, try this for me. Adjust your magnification down a little bit. It'll not only make everything seem smoother, it'll help you focus on that nice, crisp, clear reticle and your shooting might actually improve. Also, if you're hunting and you need to pick up the rifle and shoot something quickly, which setting is it gonna be easier to find the target on? High magnification or low? That's right, when you're walking around with your scope, just keep it on low magnification. Easier for that quick shot. If it's far enough away that you need to turn the magnification up, the good news is if it's far enough away, you probably have more time, you can adjust it then.